Welcome to the Kirkstall Carvely Cutter. Oh shit! <laughs> <laughs> There's my intro. This is, a, this is a day for a run, isn't it? It's a lovely day for a run. <laughs> oh, you got yourself a new GoPro. I got myself a new GoPro. It's 2021. This is the Kirkstall Carvely Cutter route video. This is my guest for the day, Dan. Hello. We're going to take you around the course now. So we are on the Leeds Liverpool Canal, just down the road from the uh, Wither Lane car park. And because Kirkstall Carvely Cutter traditionally starts and finishes in different places, I've got the midpoint between the two and it's this mile marker here. It's this mile marker here. Liverpool, 124 miles. Leeds, three and a half, three and a quarter miles. So that's your start and finish. And if you're not going from the start to the finish, if you're picking up the route from a different place, that's where you turn around and go back the other way. So without further ado, let's get running. Let's go. Cool. And here we go, we're going to take the Route 66 through this tunnel. There's, there's two bridges, but um, they're the same way. Don't have to worry about that. And now we've got a nice long canal section. So we're approaching Pollard Lane. You can tell because there's a bridge on the road. Time to leave. Time to leave the canal and through the little gate. Turn right onto Pollard Lane now. And we're heading straight down Pollard Lane. We're going to cross the River Air, heading into Newley. And shortly after the bridge, is a left turn worth noting the uh, the stone sort of the st little stone pillars opposite number 14 and apparently we're opposite number 14 so there we go there's a little tip for you here we are at the top of newly grove top of newly grove we turn left onto new lace road and i think we only run down here for a couple of hundred meters you're now looking out you should now be looking out for a public footpath sign that will take us into the field. Always check the weather before you go out. Obviously this doesn't take place on a set day. Oh my God, there's snow everywhere. It doesn't take place on a set day. So um, yeah, check the weather yourself before you go out. It's giving me the wake up I needed. Lovely. Beautiful. Oh shit! Yes. <laughs> no sideways grip on these shoes. <laughs> yeah. I found coming up on this side. Or that side, yeah. Welcome to the Kirkstall Carvely Cutter. <laughs> no, Happy it's... birthday to you! <laughs> Happy birthday to you! 20 seconds in the snow. Yeah, I was expecting it to be frozen. It is not frozen underneath. Uh, you might notice this course, this part of the course, is part of another famous race, the Kirk's Labby 7. That takes place in the summer. This race runs until the 30th of May or the 31st of May 2021. So if you don't like the snow, you don't like the mud, you could always wait. You could always wait a bit. But if you want to attempt a course record, um, this course must be done in either January or February because it's not fair on the existing, on the existing course records. Right, next kissing gate. We're now on the river section. 
running alongside the river. Wow, well, these ducks are flying. <laughs> Just after. So just after this bridge, which is uh, the bridge over the ring road, look at that. Just after this, we now continue to follow, continue to follow the path next to the river. See the bridge there? To our left. That's where we come back. That's where we come back on the loop. So that's where the loop finishes and we're about to begin the loop here so you'll see a signpost you see a signpost there now here we are at the junction so the junction says at this junction to your left is the bridge to your right is the road and straight ahead is the path and we're going to go down the path can't stress that enough go down the path continue which continues along the river now we are now on the loop section, which must be completed in an anti-clockwise direction. Welcome to 2021, by the way. Woo! Welcome to 2021. First week alone. It's the first video of 2021. And I've got a new camera. This is the GoPro Hero 9. So bear with me if some of the settings aren't 100%. I've not quite got used to it yet, but we're trying things out chose a perfect day for the first day to use it absolutely lovely day kind of novelty I think is the uh, is the word for today we don't yeah picturesque we don't get many of these do we <laughs> the route the route map is available on the website. <laughs> it's slipping everywhere. So the GPX file and the route map are available on the website right now. With each race, there'll be a video, a route description, and a GPX file. And I'll aim to get all of them done in time before they open, so people can give them a go before they open. I have a Patreon page. And we have some lovely Patreons, thanks to the Patreons today, um, who just opened the page up. We got six. So thanks to Tom Thomas, oh, Ellen Anna, Frankie, Sonny, Joe, and Alexandra. Six. Thank you very much. Let's keep that page going. With your help, I can make better videos. I can keep up to speed with the latest, latest uh, tech for the camera and things like that pays for my website to be updated whoa oh my god whoa, whoa. keeps the web yeah keeps the website update and gives me a bit more free time eventually it could give me some more free time to really push the great our running brand look at this <laughs> oh god we just picked the worst day to do this so you you, you get to be pleasantly surprised. So we're coming out onto this other path here. We're going to turn left. This is, again, following the river, but this is a bit where the, we kind of leave the river slightly, but we do rejoin it. If you kind of follow where you think the river is, you can't go wrong. We get to the White House on the instructions, we turn left. Down this path here. Oh dear. Can I zoom in? Wow, young deer. It's just got, yeah. So we're now at point number where you see the school playing fields. Still running along the river. If navigation is not your thing, this will be one of the easiest ones to navigate because you're pretty much following a river. We're at the end of the section now. 
So we're coming out onto this into this car park. This car park here, back onto the road. We're going to turn left over that river. Look at that river today. It's crazy. It's why I don't know. It's a 10 meters wider than usual. And then we turn immediately left again onto parking lane. Parking lane. Oh, I know where we are. Yeah. I'm looking out. Straight up. Straight up. Not many people know this is here, but it's absolutely beautiful. This is the cutting. Cowboy cutting! Beautiful. top of the cutting, top of the cutting we're going to turn left onto the road and we're going to follow this pavement for quite a while now all the way through Carverley back towards Rodley, back towards Rodley and there's no road crossings, there's no major road crossings, it's all along the path straight down. Look at this speed speedometer, there's a speed off and watch your speed here. Yeah, seven. Seven miles, an hour. seven miles an hour. It's not bad. You can get pretty fast in this section. It's all downhill after that cutting. So just to reiterate, just stay on the road you're on and you can't go wrong. Shit play leads. Basically heading towards Leeds. Back to Leeds. Public footpath leads Liverpool Corner Canal. Kissing gate here. Through the field, there's a footpath through the field. You won't be able to see it today because it's snowing. And you'll see the canal right below us. We're heading back down to the canal. This is going to be slippery. <laughs> we're leaving the gridlock traffic behind us. Yeah, I'm glad we're not commuting today. Glad we're not commuting today. <laughs> um, and we're heading straight back down to the canal through this field. It's not no, it's not too bad actually. It's very, very thick. On some days, there will be cows in this field. Um, I'll post a link to I'll post a link to um, a video that's quite helpful for people who aren't confident with cows in fields. It's a really good advice on how to run or how to travel through a field where there's cows, not startling them, etc. Whoa! There it is. Now the water. Oh! Whoa! Ah! I have to keep moving, lean forward a bit, I think. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Ow! <laughs> Might go again here. Sorry, I'll stop, stop. I was trying to stop. I've just gone down. <laughs> the snow of the camera. We've got, um, in front of us, we've got the canal. Morning. Morning. We've got the canal in front of us, through the Kissing Gate, through, it's the Owl Swing Bridge, it's called. Now, in the unlikely event of there being a boat coming along, they'll open this swing bridge, but it's worth, it's worth waiting, because any alternative route will, um, will take longer. So we're now on the canal, that heads towards Leeds, that heads towards back up Alfley Bridge, but we, we are going straight over. So we're going across the bridge and then straight over, straight over into this path here. Here that goes off to the left, down these steps, down these steps, and then we appear back at Carverley Bridge. So we're now back at Carverley Bridge, which means we finished our loop. 
That's the way we went out on the loop, that way. And we are going to go back the way we came after we cross this bridge. We're going to go right back the way we came. Exactly the way we, exactly the way we came. We've just done 12 gates. So the next, there we go, let's go back here. So we're going to go back. So the next, we're going to crack on, go back the way we came. And we'll see you at the finish. Thanks for watching the video. There'll be more of these as more races open up. Subscribe to this video. Subscribe to me. It really helps with the algorithms. And if you fancy it, you can follow me and support me on Patreon. Thanks very much. See you later. Okay.